Hey everyone, I wanted to create an update video for this for the installation video for the Studio Time 64 Windows 7 64 bit driver. Uh, reason being is in the process of messing with some of uh, the downloads for the, the main download, um, I had to change it from 1.0.0 to 1.0.1. .1. I wanted to leave it 1.0.0 because it was the first initial release. I had some issues where um, in the upload it kept downloading the same version when I clicked on a different computer. So I think it was something about when uh, Google code and not getting around to having properly deleting the zip file. So I just renamed the zip file, uploaded it, and this one works. So to start, we come over to Downloads, go on and click the Steel Battalion CD4 1.0.1.zip. Go on and download that. And come over here, Show in Folder. We want to go on and extract. All right. Um, after it's been extracted, we want to uh, run the PP Joy setup. We want to run this one first because um, this whole process requires um, the use of unsigned drivers. It'd be nice if everything could be signed. However, that costs about five hundred dollars every two years, and PP Joy doesn't have that. And I think LibUSB.net does, but this particular version doesn't show it up first. Um, if you run PPP Joy setup though, it checks to see whether or not you're running um, Windows in test mode and it will restart your machine if it doesn't. And I'll show you what that process looks like. So we go on and double click PPP Joy setup. Click run. And here's that notification 64 system does not allow the installation test sign drivers. So we click OK. And as soon as we click OK here, it'll restart the machine and send a command bcd edit dash test test signing on um, and you'll see it in a second what it looks like I'm gonna go on and uh, pause here for a second as I restart and continue the video as normal in just a moment okay so I'm back uh, and that's just a Windows restart so now we're going we're back here and the that downloads and I'm going to go to Steel Battalion 64 and try re re double clicking PP Joy setup Oh yeah, I just remember right before that, I just want to show you something down here. You'll see that Windows now has this little watermark down here. Test mode Windows 7 build 7601. Your build might be slightly different. Um, there's things you can do to get rid of that, but it's not really, a, it doesn't cause any other issues other than telling you you're in test mode. So unless you're just particularly picky, it doesn't affect anything. So Alright, so back to this. Double click PP Joy. Run. Now, as you can see, we're actually going through the actual setup. Go next, I agree, install, and just let it do its thing. It takes a few minutes to finish. There you go. It's a lot faster than my other one was. And we can go on and run PP Droid drivers. Um, Alright, I'm just going to do add, add, done. That's all we have to do for PP Droid for the moment. We'll see it down here and doing installing device driver software, and it should be finished. All right, so we're good. The next step is to install libusb.net. We don't need the filter capabilities. Finish. All right. Um, the final step was we go on and plug in the, the Steel Battalion controller. Okay. So we go to Computer Manage. Device Manager should be an unknown device. Right click it and say update driver software. Browse my computer. Browse. And this is under down, uh, downloads. Downloads. Super Italian 64. Lib USB. Drivers. I'm going to go and install this driver software anyways. Okay. 
and there we go. It's the USB 132 devices, still the Talon 64, still the Talon controller. Right? Okay, I just wanted to create a part of an update for this. Um, since I said in the first part of the video, um, I had to switch over to 1.0.1. .1. So if you ever see anywhere in the video where I refer to 1.0.0, .0, that's outdated. The instructions are still good, but the reference is 1.0.1. .0 .1. So we go on and click on the Steel Battalion 64, and this is after we've already installed PPJoy and LibiaSB.net and got the drivers installed and everything's looking good. So we go on and click Steel Battalion 64, go to Executables, and you can tell this is the new version because it has uh, MW4 and 64, SB64. These are the INI files, or the configuration files. Uh, this first one is just it tells it which file to look for to actually load. So file location load file equals mw4.ini. Um, mw4.ini actually contains all the information that lets the program run. Um, and so I took a, little, a bit of time to make this configuration system work so you can actually go in and fiddle with things. I'm not too happy as far as what it ends up looking like. I'd rather have like an XML setup or something more sophisticated. Um, and maybe down the road we'll do something like that, but for now it's good enough. You can go in here and thumbstick dead zone, zoom multiplier, etc. And come in here and just fiddle with the values. So alright, so the one we actually want to click is Steel Battalion 64 MW4. This first one actually maps to multiple joysticks, so that one's not really set up right now. This is the one we want to click. We'll go ahead and hit run. And there you go. And you'll be able to, all the buttons on your uh, Steel Battalion control will flash, uh, I think, five times when it first starts up. The quickest way to, to know that you're running the right version is if you go and click, uh, turn the tuning dial, go from the left all the way to the right, you'll see it f flash across the communication buttons, kind of some like um, kit from um, the Knight Rider. Uh, I, I like that little effect. I added that in there. Um, I've added a few other things, um, but that's the main way. Um, if you pull up a text file and press some of the buttons, you'll see that it actually maps out to keystrokes and not just buttons on the joystick. That allows for maximum flexibility because there's more buttons on this controller than you can, Windows supports on any single joystick. It only supports 32 buttons, particularly in an older game like Mech Warrior 4. So I'm going to go on and cut it off right now, and I'll show you some live video if it works.